What's up, guys? Welcome back to Candid Cloud Convos. You already know who it is, Gina and Emilita. Back at it again this week. It's your girls ready with a Christmas edition episode. It's our first Christmas podcast. <gasps> wow, that's so cool. Joy. What is it? Joy? What is it? Joy? <laughs> wow. I'm so excited. Nice. That's cool. That is so cute. Look at us staying consistent here. That's what. In the holidays. It's not our first Christmas content, but our first Christmas podcast. That is true. If you want Christmas content, check out our videos from Clown Anna. Just saying. Right. They're a year old, but still relevant, still funny. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the cheese my chatter. What do you have for us, Gina? All right. We can start with um, did you hear this? Okay, so this happened a couple months ago, but did you hear about the whole thing with um the movie that there was a loaded gun and it was a prop? Yeah. But it, but it had one in it right so that was for the filming of rust with alec baldwin and supposedly you know he was given the prop and they say that they go through a process for like obviously checking it right obviously that was not done yeah and the cinematographer died and the director was like just badly injured so they both were like flown to, uh to hospitals and whatever happened in new mexico mm-hmm. and um now I guess there there's a warrant for Alec Baldwin's phone, like text messages or something like that. I don't know why. I don't know if they think it was like planned or something. I don't know. It seemed like it was just an accident, but I think because he was one of the producers on the movie is why he has like a liability because a part of being a part of the directing staff or producing staff they're supposed to like you said go through those steps so maybe him being like such a high priority type of person or a high importance type of person in that maybe maybe they just want to make sure he got a green light or something but I don't know why they would do on a text message I don't know I literally have no idea but I just thought it was crazy because I was like it sounded I, I mean it seemed like it was just like an accident like a dumb fucking accident like do you remember that girl who like shot her boyfriend because for a YouTube video because they thought a phone book was going to be thick enough to stop the bullet. I've never seen that. No way. No. Dude, it was like, I don't know, a few years ago, like kind of recent, but not like hella, hella recent. It was like a vlogging couple? Yeah, they were a YouTube couple. I don't think they got like big, but that's what they were trying to do because obviously, you know, YouTube is like where everyone wants to go. Right. So they, he, he, so his mind was like, we need to do like crazy content, like here, shoot me with this gun, and, but I'm going to put the books in front of me so it's going to stop it. Like, it's a crazy YouTube video. Oh, my gosh. It's going to make us go viral. And supposedly she didn't want to do it, but he convinced her and they did a practice one that worked. But then when they did it for the video, it didn't work and it killed him. And at the time she was pregnant with their baby. Oh, my God. But then she was like, you know, I don't know what ended up happening, to be honest, but I know they arrested her. Yeah. And it was like, oh, Oh, God, it was just so dumb, though. It was so dumb. I was just going to say, like, it's really unfortunate that he lost his life to that. But what is wrong with people? I mean, like, 1,000% preventable. Yeah. So insane. (laughs) That is ridiculous. A YouTube video is not, or YouTube fame is not worth it. Like, what? Now you're, oh, my God, that's terrible. I don't even want to go into it. That's terrible. It's not worth it, guys. It really isn't at all do a dance or something become famous on tiktok <laughs> like you do not need to shoot your man to make it viral imagine if she even like had the bad aim and just completely missed where the book was even right you know like i just there's so many things that could have gone wrong and obviously something did go wrong but like there was so many more other things that could have gone wrong too and safety is something that it's not really idea. enforced anyway right that's ridiculous well r.i.p to him that's really sad, but that is really crazy about Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Like they subpoenaed yeah. his phone or something? Huh? They like subpoenaed his phone or something? Yeah, I think so. Mm. I didn't hear that he was like, you know, what's it called? Like um, denying or, you know, like resisting or anything like that. Like yeah. Was just like, here's all the information, like whatever, you know? Right. But yeah, they see they what happens. We'll see, I guess. Yeah. What else do you have, Gina? What happened this week? So I know you're the exact same way. 
<laughs> I know you're the exact same way as me and the both of us when we watch like military homecoming or just like oh, stop. surprise homecoming videos stop it. it's, like, <laughs> it's like guaranteed that we cry mm-hmm. I don't know what it is but it's just that pure raw motion like I don't know so it's I see funny that we're mentioning that based off of the last video when you I mean the last uh podcast episode when you said you're not an empathetic crier but for this and animals or that one you will dude it's 100 percent. yeah that one for every single time it'll make me cry I don't know why I don't know why maybe because it's real like it's like yeah. you know like right. it's real real people raw motion quick and it's not just acting you know yeah especially but, I mean, when the kids are involved so yeah oh it's so bad. okay so I seen a video where a girl had so the, the context of the video was that the girl hadn't been home in three years her dad was back in Peru where they're from hmm. and she went back home and surprised him and she was like hidden inside a gift wrapped like big old box oh my god and they were kind of like oh like an early Christmas gift or whatever he had like no idea yeah and then she he like moved inside the box oh. and he lifted it up and he just immediately starts crying and like hugs her yeah and then he's crying as they're like hugging like a whole moment so, that's yeah crazy. it was just so cute so she got to you know reunite with him and with her family for Christmas yeah and they had it on video yeah it was on video it was that's so cute so nice Especially, I think, after COVID and, you know, probably that was also yeah. the reason why she couldn't come home earlier than what she did. Mm-hmm. So that's really awesome. <sighs> Beautiful. I love that for them. Me too. Especially because I feel like the holidays don't really feel like the holidays. So I feel like having his daughter home probably felt really great. Yeah. How do you feel about the holidays this year or in the last few years? This year, I can say definitely just like freaking, I don't know. It's weird because like it snuck up, but at the same yeah. time, like, I, I don't know. It just feels like it came really quickly. Like this year flew by. Right. Um, like a lot more than normal. Yeah. I don't feel like mm-hmm. as Christmassy this year. And maybe it's because the year's flown by so fast. Right. But I don't know. High hopes for the next year's. Yeah. I just feel like as a kid, you know. Christmas is so magical and it's so right. you know but now that's what you want yeah I don't know if it's just because we're getting older or if it's just the way that things are with like the pandemic and stuff but it just doesn't feel mm-hmm. like Christmas to me I have a Christmas tree yeah. I tried like we tried to decorate and like make it feel uh-huh. easy, but it still doesn't and like you said it did sneak up on us I swear I'm still in like August and catching up right. so yeah I just I don't know it's just it feels weird and it sucks because like I love Christmas time. Yeah, me too. Not like anything specific, but just like the the in general, the season itself. Like it's cozy. It's you know, oh, season why? of giving and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I love Christmas time. So it sucks that it doesn't really feel like it. And the fact that almost like we didn't have a chance to prepare for it. Right. But yeah. Do you have any holiday traditions? Honestly, no. That's one thing that's like I did. Like that's a really big reason why I want to create them when we start like our family and do things like that because we don't really do. My family never really did traditions. Mm -hmm. Like we don't have, not even like for Christmas, but like in general, like at all. Uh We don't really have like a family tradition that we do. Right. So I really want to incorporate that with my family. You know. Yeah. Just like kind of eat dinner and then you go about your business. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Or two. Yeah. (laughs) Like that. As you wait for the food then I mean now you open the gifts yeah. or depending like who who's there and who's going to leave at a certain time then we do it at different times right that's pretty much it what kind if you could think of one holiday tradition you want to start or want to do what would it be with your family like with your kids and everything? I think definitely like baking stuff like whether it be like cookies or cakes or like whatever the like I don't it doesn't even matter I want to do a lot of baking like more in Christmas time too I think yeah. it'd be really fun, like Christmas so movies. I definitely want them to know, like, by by the time they're like five, six, I want them to know, like, the Christmas songs and stuff. So when we yeah. come out, like, singing and dancing to it. Uh huh. I just helped uh, my sister decorate her place for Christmas, and my nephew, like, we put Christmas songs on while we were decorating. Mm-hmm. And hearing him like sing along to the songs is so fucking funny, but like cute at the same time. Like I yeah. can't wait to do this with my kids. You know? <laughs> they're so cute. He's so and excited. Like I love it. Yeah. He like his favorite is um grandma got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> that was his favorite one. I wonder why. 
I don't know. But the way he was singing it too. Yeah. The way he was singing it it was like exaggerating. Right. Like it's it's great to hear their see their joy also come from it, you know? Right, right. I think that's also what is exciting about obviously eventually having kids and stuff is that it may not feel like Christmas to us anymore, but we have that to look forward to when it is, you know? Yeah. We can make it a big deal for them. And I feel like maybe that will bring back some of the the magic to it. The joy from it. What is it? joy <laughs> we don't know it. question mark question mark question mark <laughs> yeah. you know how the uh the overlay of all the like science and um the numbers all the and math all the, all the and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> literally oh my goodness what do you think is your favorite christmas song or like oh, holiday song i have multiple holiday songs <laughs> that i really like because i love christmas songs uh-huh. um but i think my top number one i actually had to look it up because i forgot what it was called <laughs> okay uh-huh. or I you know they all like you know they're like melody obviously but that's yeah what but we it. can't we can't sing any of it because we'll get copyrighted but it's called Christmas it's literally called Christmas but one of the lines is um something along the lines of <laughs> <laughs> can't even do it in a melody <laughs> no I'm trying to like like word for word say it instead of like be with the beat yeah um, basically she's telling him like baby please come home for christmas because she's alone and they're singing deck the halls but it's not like christmas but at all you know Uh and she remembers when they were there and all the fun they had last year but then she's Uh hoping he comes home for this year i don't know why he's gone i don't think it's ever explained but (laughs) not home for christmas and she wants him to come home for christmas he went out for some milk right yeah he went out for some milk Never right, some cookies last year. <laughs> he, <laughs> yeah. <come> back yeah. <laughs> he goes to dress, but she still wants him to, want to, to come home. Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> like George Lopez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any Christmas songs that you really like? I have a few too. I know one of the ones I really like was um Last Christmas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a, that's one I really like that one. Like it always this version though. What do you me. like the most? There's different ones. Like who's, the, um, you know what I mean? I don't know. Let me see, actually, because there is a specific one. Uh-huh. Because I heard it, dude, I heard it one time in like Target, Walmart. I don't fucking know. <laughs> so it was like a cover. <laughs> oh, it, was the, it was the 99 cent store. And it was a cover of that song. And I was like, no offense, but I could have fucking sang this song. <laughs> I paid to be in freaking 99 cent markets all over the place it just wasn't it and I think I have like very biased opinion because I like that song so much right when I worked in retail I wanted to just literally take my brain and turn it off because we had to play Christmas music starting in I think the beginning of November but it was the same songs just on repeat oh like on a loop eight hour shift yeah I would be like bro like I love this but all day every day my god it was like at least switch up the playlists or something right and like you said it was the cover version so it's not even the real ones and you're like oh it was covers too yeah oh yeah okay it's by wham that's the that's the one that I like wham exclamation point oh period um but yeah, dude, that sucks. When they're all like <laughs> the freaking cover, you can't even enjoy the actual song itself. No. And sometimes I would catch myself singing it, but then I would be like, oh my God. Like it's just because it's catchy, you know? It's not yeah. enjoying it. Ugh. What about movies? Oh, I love Christmas movies. I'm the one who can sit there and watch the cheesiest Hallmark, <laughs> most predictable lifetime. Hell yeah. Like I don't even <laughs> care you know exactly what's gonna happen they're gonna fall in love and it's gonna be Christmas it's gonna snow and all that but I love it I will soak up every minute <laughs> but I have I have oh god I have a lot I have three like that I can think of top three so I okay. don't think I can narrow it down to just one okay but in no order I'm not being discriminatory <laughs> the Grinch hands down Beautiful. love the Grinch yeah. I would want to be the Grinch <laughs> but I love Christmas, so it doesn't really make sense, you know. But I think under- it's like deep down in his heart, he exactly, did too. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It was just trauma. He was traumatized. Right. Okay. Some fucked up shit happened to him. It's once you get older that you realize that, like, it wasn't the Grinch who was in the wrong. <laughs> it was everybody else. It's self trauma. <laughs> yeah. uh, which other one? Trauma in the shape of cookies. Oh, 
Um, the second one is this movie called Mistletones. It was like a singing competition type of movie, mm -hmm. but they it's basically like a musical kind okay. of. But it was on ABC Family, and it has a uh, Tia Mari. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that one. That's it. cool, dude. It's good. I think you'd like it. Um, and then the third one is none other than Elf. Oh, classic. Classic. I love it. Yeah. It's so funny. Oh my God, Sam. It's just so good. Like it's good when you're a kid, but it doesn't get old as you get older. I think that's like no. it's just a classic. You know? Yeah. I have to watch it at least once every I mean, it's, winter. It's like generational. It's literally generational. Like people who are our age who have had kids already are showing their kids this. So now the next generation of kids right. are like now falling in love with the movie L2. Isn't that weird? It's going to wow. come full circle. You know what I actually love about L2? That the reason why they won't make a, sec <clears throat> excuse me, a second one is because supposedly... Um, What's the actor's name? The main one? Yeah. Will Ferrell. He doesn't get along with the director or the producer of the movie. No way. So they won't make a second one because of that. Damn. And I think that they won't do the new director? No. Damn. And that's I, surprising. I know. I think you that would do really well, be, dude. Yeah. Because it's it was, you know, their it was the actors who made it like, you know, well, no, the writers and the actors obviously who like made it what it is, but like at the same, usually they don't keep the same directors for like series. Only sometimes they do that, but like. Yeah. And it was a, it's a pretty old movie. So I don't yeah. know. I feel like Elf number two or like a sequel to, yeah, sequel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, was, I had to think about it. <laughs> um, I think it would do really well. Like sometimes obviously the second version of movies is like cheesy, but I feel like, yeah. I feel like it would but do at the same time, Elf is kind of cheesy though. Like it's yeah. that it's that good. Um, I don't know. They balanced it really well to like the funny and the cheesy. Yeah, and it has a good storyline. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what it's it is about the second one is if they have to have a good storyline. There has to be a good plot, you know. Bro, him and the girl could go back to the North Pole. Boom. Did you see that? There's like little um, like when you see like little kids like random that are elves like in hiding. Oh, with like the throughout the movie, but they you could tell because they have pointy ears, yeah. But they don't kind of like in the I, background or something. I never realized that, like when they're in the New York, neither, huh? When they're in New York, yeah. Oh, I didn't need, I didn't know that. Maybe they just use the same actors. I don't, it, it's like I almost like um Easter eggs, like I think. Oh, I yeah, I just I was like, what? I just watched that movie and I. I wouldn't have recognized that ever I did all these years I didn't know and yeah. then they showed they said it and then they showed like a scene where it's like look there's one right there and I was like whoa wow I did not know Off that. topic yeah but your doesn't uh jeeps also have easter eggs in them yeah have you found yours already yeah I found a couple of them I don't know how many what are they normally have um there's one in the back window um where the little wiper blade thing is it looks uh -huh. like a little Loch Ness monster. It's like a serpentine. Whoa, uh -huh. You can tell it's like underwater or something. And then yeah. the other one I have is in the front, uh, kind of similar area, but the other one's on the actual window. This one is on like a plastic piece and I'm freaking blanking on what it is, but I'll let you know. And I'll post it on Instagram so you guys can see that's it. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but yeah, we do have a couple of them. It's just- I so didn't weird. know that did that so now I was like wait what so I yeah. to look it's so random but I know for sure the yeah. little monster in the back yeah okay I think I asked you this when we were preparing but I have a story to tell you okay so, so can I ask it to you yeah because <laughs> okay. I don't have nothing for this I I but I want to ask you like what growing up like did you ever hear about oh. Santa or okay okay good that's question first <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> Uh, okay the question is do you remember when you learned the truth about santa or do you still believe if jr Mallor is ever listening to this i do believe in santa 100 percent. little ears <laughs> <laughs> trigger warning <laughs> <laughs> no but um i don't remember when i learned the truth about santa but i think at first like they were i think they did say i don't know i feel like 
there's certain moments in my childhood that are like just gone from my memory, like blocked or something. And I don't know yeah. why anything to do with Santa has to do with that, but I yeah. don't remember. But I think that Santa was a thing. Like I knew about Santa. I just don't know when I learned that like he wasn't real, if it was like a big moment. Maybe it wasn't like yeah. a big moment. I was just kind of like, oh, I knew or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm ahead of everybody. Yeah, like try to play cool or something. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds like you. <laughs> like, oh, I like that. what? I knew that already. Yeah. I go home, I go in my room, close the door and cry. Yeah. <laughs> <not real. laughs> in the shower. Yeah. I always used to cry in the shower. <laughs> Dude, I can't cry in the shower. I always well, used to unless cry in the I'm like facing away. nobody to know. But like if I'm yeah, I didn't like either. I would always be it would always be by myself. Hmm. But for some reason, like the water hitting my face my tears couldn't come out unless I just couldn't feel it it just was so weird yeah I'd probably have like my back with the water on my back and then uh, (laughs) or like sitting on the floor like curled up in a ball like just letting the water (laughs) so dramatic doesn't it sound like when you explain it it just sounds so dramatic (laughs) but in the moment you're like I have to let this out like this is the only way this is a serious situation (laughs) but what was your moment I do remember, I don't think I've ever told my dad this. So dad, if you're listening, um, the truth came out when the year that I got a bike for Christmas, I asked for a bike because I really wanted one. And our bedroom was right next to the bathroom. So my dad told us like, you know, you have to go to sleep, blah, 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 or Santa won't come, whatever. So I had to pee and it was what it was. I had to pee. And also when I was a kid, I had FOMO real bad. So when there were still adults talking during the you know evening or whatever, I'd, you know, sneak and be like, I have to go to the bathroom. But this time I really did. Um, but I was just eavesdropping, you know, most of the time. But mm-hmm. this time I really did. Have to <laughs> and so I go and literally as I'm opening. So like I said, it's right next to it. So as I'm opening our door, then going to open the bathroom door, I see my dad wheeling in my bicycle no yes like oh, as he's no. going to put it next to the tree and I don't remember what I did I know I went into the bathroom but I wasn't like upset or anything I was like oh yeah shit, got my bike yep like I was <laughs> happy. I didn't care that Santa wasn't real at that point I just was happy I'm gonna wake up to a bike did you know it was supposed to be like from Santa though at that yet yeah or it wasn't until the gifts oh, yeah. like until you opened it um because we had already so normally we would open gifts with my dad's side of the family on Christmas Eve and then Uh we wake up on Christmas Day still at the house and Santa quote-unquote had come so then we get ready and then he would take me to my mom's house and then we would do a Christmas over there too Uh so I did think that that was supposed to be coming from Santa because I had already opened my gifts from my aunts and uncles all of that yeah yeah so it was supposed to be I didn't care I was like yep I got a blue bike bike. yeah I didn't care I was happy rolling you're like hello ready you're like I'm I'm on the move can't catch me no I think my brother got a bike too or maybe that year he got a guitar or something but yep I went back in the room and I was like I'm waking up to a bike tomorrow (laughs) I was so happy I loved it you're like putting your outfit together what you're gonna wear like your first ride (laughs) I'm like oh did he buy me a helmet I hope so (laughs) I want to ride it right away (laughs) that's hella funny that's hella cool but that is actually when I learned the truth about Santa sorry dad I wonder for like, oh, did you see that video where there's where this little kid asked like Alexa or something or Google? I think it was Alexa. Like Alexa, where do reindeers come from or something like that? And she responded to something. He goes, Santa's not real. And the dad's like, Alexa doesn't know what she's talking about. Yes, Santa's real. It's like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe like a, yeah, like a four-year-old or five or something like that. What did she say to him? I don't, I, I honestly couldn't hear it that well, but she said something of like, I don't know caribou or something like that I don't even know but from it he got to say it was a caribou Mm -hmm. and then from that the kid was like Santa's not real he had like an epiphany that's and so his mama and was caught with like a a in-home camera or something like that yeah you could tell by like the angle that it was taken at at four that would probably be heartbreaking I want to say I was probably like 10 when I when I discovered that 9 10 maybe would you say that the bike was one of your best gifts ever in my life Christmas yeah um 
or what would you say is your was your best gift? I mean, I loved the bike. Don't get me wrong, but mm. hmm, best gift. Hmm. I'm someone who likes practical things, so mm-hmm. things my, are gonna use. Yeah, exactly. My aunt would always always hook it up with the the body wash, the lotion, like the whole set. You know, the gift. Uh, the kit. Loved that. Yeah um I really like getting pajamas cozy things you know mm-hmm. you know my vibes cozy vibes always I have been I also oh one year I don't remember I think my mom bought it for me maybe either my mom or my dad but I really loved fashion designing back in the day uh-huh. so I would like, sketch like outfits or like clothing pieces I don't know but there was this thing that you could I don't even know how to freaking explain it, but it was basically like this like case thing kind of looked like a laptop, but it closed like a book, but like one on top of the other like this. Okay. And then out into three. Uh-huh. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. like a little and then there, kind of, kind of. Yeah. But it was it hard. Like, yeah. It was yeah. Like, hard like plastic. the way it folds into it. Onto it. Yeah, okay. exactly. Exactly. And then one part of it had like paper where you could pull it off. And then one part was like a, um, not a projector, but a um, like to where you could it flashes the light so you can trace. Oh, dope! Okay, uh huh. And then on top, or no, underneath that, you put like these little slots. So one would be a shirt, one would uh-huh. be pants, oh, wait, shorts, or shirt, or whatever. And then you could basically trace the whole yeah. thing in the whole outfit, but it gives you like the wait, um, that's so dope. The structure. It was so cool, and I loved it. And then it also came with a separate thing from the same company. I have uh-huh. no idea what company it was. But it's to where you could actually sew and make like mini, like doll basically clothes. Close. Yeah, like Whoa, size for a doll. That's it was really cool, but I never got like too far into that because I didn't know how to sew and nobody wanted to have patience to teach me. So uh, I didn't really get to use that all that much, uh-huh. but the drawing one I really liked. That's dope. Her. That's hella cool. I I've never even, it. I've never seen one like that. So that's hella cool. It was really cool. I have no idea what happened to it though. Kind of sad. Uh-huh. Like most stuff, it just disappears. Yeah, your favorite sweater from like sixth grade. You're like, where did that go? You see a picture and you're like, what happened to that? Right, like I know I didn't get rid of that. Where did it go? Which cousin has that? Right. And you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm calling you both out. What about what about a worst gift? Have you ever had like a worst or like bad gift? Um, it wasn't a bad gift necessarily. But at the age I was, I was kind of disappointed, I'd say. Um, so basically, one year, my stepmom, I guess, ordered things on Amazon, but they didn't come in on time. So she wrapped the order confirmation pages, <laughs> and I unwrapped the papers of what I was going to get. It just wasn't there yet. Yeah. So I was grateful, but like, you know, everybody else is opening up actual things, and I'm yeah. like sitting there with my papers, like stacked <laughs> You're like going and filing them back and yeah, forth. Yeah, I'm like, so when is this coming in? Like, yeah. damn. Looking at the, every single number and the order number because everybody's <laughs> yeah. looking at their gifts. <laughs> You're just so, taking down every detail. It wasn't a bad gift necessarily because I still yeah. got them, but it just wasn't on time. <laughs> it was just more the experience yeah. because you didn't have to open it yet. Exactly. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> what about you? Best and worst? I would say my mm-hmm. like worst gift. I would say my worst gift is pretty much kind of exactly like yours in the sense of like, it was more the experience. It yeah. wasn't that the actual gift is bad, but like one Christmas, um, you know, like certain family members were like, it was their turn. Like they gave out their gifts. Right. Uh-huh. And so, you know, my brother and sister, they're like opening their gifts and it's these like, you know, it's gifts, you know, they're, they're like, oh, wow, this is, oh, wow this is that. and then it's my turn. And it's this like small little box. Right. Uh-huh. And I open it. <laughs> it was just a ten dollar bill sitting inside the box <laughs> and okay it's not that like yeah you know of course I'm grateful for the ten dollars I'm grateful for the money yeah. but it was the fact that like other everyone else was getting these like nice gifts for, like, right you know, they, like actual gifts every, that they put some effort into and then I got a box of just a straight up ten dollar bill like thank you wow. <laughs> it's in a ring box imagine <laughs> it was literally like an earrings box like oh my god box. <laughs> happy to be here wow yeah that's what I think only considered kind of like worse just because of the experience of it but you know ten dollars is ten dollars so that was cool dude but what was your best gift ever that's hard I like what you said too like 
honestly, I think it's more of like, I like gifts that are like, oh, I seen this and I thought of you. Or like, I seen this yeah. and I thought this was cool, you know? Mm -hmm. So it could be a freaking dollar. But I know one time I was, <laughs> I was trying to, I was, I wanted to straighten my hair really bad and I didn't have a straightener. And at the time, like I was real life struggling with my hair. I had bleached it like twice a few years prior. So it was fried, like fried. I couldn't do nothing with my hair. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to straighten it really bad. I thought it was going to be like, okay, I'm going to be one of those girls that like straightens their hair every single day for, before school, you know, cool. Don't know the vibes. So I got a straightener and it was like a really fucking good straightener. Mm -hmm. Like once that, it was one of those ones they say it's wet to dry. Oh, I, I never one of those two. They're so good, right? Yeah. And they have like, they had like little vents where the Even. steam comes out. Yeah. yeah. So I thought it was like really cool. I loved that one. I would say that's, that was a big one. Cause I was like, oh my God, I could do my hair. Even though I didn't end up, um, I didn't end up straightening my hair every day. That was not happening. <laughs> it shit took me like two hours to straighten my hair. Right. And then to come back like frizzy anyway. So yeah. I didn't use it as often as I thought, but I still loved it. Uh, my boyfriend it gave me that. Good. It worked good. It was the wet to dry, but I never actually liked using it on my wet hair. First, it freaks me out. Even though they said like the steam's okay. It's just, you know, the water evaporating or something like that. It just terrified me. I was like, I've already fried my hair once. <laughs> I don't want to do it again. So I always used it dry. Yeah. I never straight my hair when it's wet. Even though I... they say technology now is okay. I just get so scared. I definitely did. But I've blown dry, but I've blue dried, blow dried, you blow know, dried. I always thought of that too. And <laughs> I felt stupid as hell too. <laughs> like, I, don't I think it's is. blow dried. Blow dried. Okay. I blow dried it wet, obviously. So yeah. I don't know if that, I know it's like less, but it's still damaged. So yeah. Well, I guess you could do like the cool setting from time to time too. And if it's not like that, should never oh, dries though on the cool setting. No. Like I've tried I mean, like, and I'm there for hours. Do it with warm, but then put the cool to like give it a second, you know, yeah. like cool down. But yeah, I don't have time for that. No, I'm not no. much of a do my hair type of person unless like we're really going out, out and it matters. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd just rather not. Whatever I can do is most likely what I'm going to do. Yeah. yeah. Unless, like you said, like I have the F, the energy to be doing something because it just takes so long. It does. And when it doesn't come out the way you want, it's like, oh, why the fuck did I put in all this effort? Your whole just mood is annoyed. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck my hair. Fuck this event. I want to stay home. It's going up. Right. And it sucks because I've been reading... Um, that some girls they purposely don't put the hair in buns because they feel like it makes the like around their hairline uh, a lot thinner or their hair breaks a lot uh -huh. and I was like oh wow I literally have that hair in a bun right now and you know what I, I'm not gonna lie I feel like this side is like thinner than what this side is but I don't know if that has anything to do with buns but it is something I I can notice you've noticed yeah I have yeah. like that too actually all my mom's kids have it um mm -hmm. for some reason I don't know why but thanks mom <laughs> you know but yeah maybe I shouldn't do buns as much but then again that's literally one of my goals having unruly hair yeah is a struggle in itself and it's just and like I don't want to have to wet it and put product in it every day right and you can't even just always throw it in a bun a braid because sometimes your hair's so knotted that even just to section it, <laughs> the three sections for a braid, it's knotted. And yeah. so it's like, well, then I might as well just put it in a bun because it's right. too knotted. I, I'll just put it in a bun until I go and I wash it again to condition it again or go through exactly. the process of wetting it all and putting the products back in. So annoying. Who has the magic tip to curly and wavy hair? Please let us know. Pretty please. Struggling out here. Again, We're better than we used to be, though. I will say that. It's the gift of giving. Please give some advice. It's free. <laughs> it is free. Applied knowledge. It'll be applied. I promise. Yes, yeah, promise. Oh, I wanted to tell you one more thing about um, Christmas gifts. Uh -huh. So I have an aunt. And she basically every Christmas would get all of, you know, the, the my cousins and I stuff when we were really young. And she would make us all individually open open it and all of the other kids who were not opening a gift at that very moment had to say "Ooh, ah <laughs> as they open their gift every single one of us had to do that for every single kid and if we didn't do that 
she would take that shit away. We would not be able to have a gift. And you no know, way. You know, I'm saying I love cozy things and I'm very, you know, grateful for anything. But every year it was gloves and a scarf and a and a beanie, you know? Uh-huh. So some of us wouldn't do it because we're like, this is embarrassing. Like wait, so if you're the one opening the gift. Mm-hmm. Do you also have to say ooh and ah as you open it? No, you basically just had to appreciate the hell out of it and tell her like uh-huh. 8,000 times that you were so grateful. Otherwise, she'd be like, you're ungrateful and like take it away from you. Jeez. Yeah, so um, needless to say, see, like, we I really like that aunt very much, but. um, I can imagine. She was very. See, I could get it like if, because I've seen videos where they give a gift and the kid is like a spoiled brat. Yeah. And like, <laughs> this iPhone, this new brand new iPhone is not the color I wanted. Yeah. And then they like throw the whole fit, you know? Like, so I can see in something like that being like, grab and take that shit back then. You're obviously an ungrateful, right. spoiled brat. Right. But if you're saying like, oh, thank you. And that wasn't enough, then. Ever. No, nah, yeah, that's too much. It was annoying. So when we got to a certain age, she literally just gave up and she was like, I'm not buying you guys shit no more. And she would only get like <laughs> my grandma, my grandpa, whatever. No way. Who does that to kids? Who does that to kids? And then, and then, and then wonder why, like, you guys grow up as freaking people pleasers because she wants you to say thank you. I'm so grateful fucking 20 million times. Bitch, I didn't even think about that, but that definitely added oh to Oh my it. God. That definitely did. Yeah. Hell yeah. The overextended, like, had to be like, thank you, thank you. Oh my yeah. God, this scarf. Oh, look, it fits. Oh my God. Because otherwise like, she would get mad. Yeah. And she'd be like, snatch that uh-huh. shit. And she was the type, I don't know if you guys have anybody in your family like this, but she would come over to our house where we prepared the meal, you know, for Christmas, <laughs> Thanksgiving, whatever. And if us kids went back for like more food, she would get so mad and she would literally be like, oh my God, like calling us fat, telling us we shouldn't be eating this much, telling us that we need to save some for everyone else when everyone had already eaten. And my grandma and grandpa would make like a shit ton of food because each, right. like, because it's a holiday. Kids, yeah. Each, and their kids able to eat home as food. much as they can. Right. I'm like, dude, like literally we would sit there and want to make, you know, the, um, you know, the sweet Hawaiian rolls. You love them. I know you do. We would yes. put ham yeah. and like just make little sandwiches after. Cause you know, after a while, the food, you being full goes away and you want more. Yeah. So we would go make those little like slider sandwiches with the ham and the bread. Mm-hmm. And that was it. And she'd be like, oh my God, can you guys save some for anyone else? Like you guys are fat and blah, blah, blah. At that point, you guys had already all eaten. Yeah. No one's even Dude, worried about it. People already ate dessert. Yeah. Like they're not worried about it. It was ridiculous, dude. Like, she like how always has something to not- say. Yeah, she's like, looking for things at that point. Exactly. Oh my god, dude, bread rolls were like my fucking shit. I love bread rolls. Bread rolls, oh yeah. Like, before, during, after the meal, like it's just good always. I love them. <sighs> Even not on the holidays, just anytime. Yeah. <laughs> and now that it's I have buns, like- what and loaf bread too. I haven't ever tried the um the bread, but I'm sure it's good. The bread from where are we? The yeah. sweet Hawaiian, like it's a uh, sliced bread now. Oh, I don't think I tried that one either, but I, I would. I've tried their um their whole wheat ones or wheat rolls mm-hmm. or something like that. Not gonna lie, I didn't like those ones. Mm-hmm. Um, but the Hawaiian sweet rolls are just top notch. Classic. I never I knew that you were actually supposed to cook them. I didn't know that either. <laughs> I always just smash them. Yeah, I me too. Them I smash them hand. too. Yeah. <laughs> And I eat them, I guess I eat them, we're eating them raw, but that shit's good as hell. Oh, That's all I ever knew. I, I, so I think some one time someone, uh, they baked them. Uh-huh. And I was like, okay, like, nice, this is good. But I didn't know that's how it was supposed to be. No, me neither. I don't like them as much baked. I like them just yeah. easy, just smash it, eat it. Yeah. Put some butter the best. you want, you know? Best. Okay, let's see. Do you have any like drink though? Like, you know how bread rolls are like their our one, yeah. to, our go-to, but what about drink? Drink? Um, hmm. I think it's different now that we're over 21. Years. Older? Yeah. Because uh-huh. I would say before my favorite drink around the holidays would just be hot chocolate or like peppermint hot yeah. chocolate maybe. Um, but I would say now as an adult, I like coquito, like way better than eggnog for me personally I just don't like egg tech like tasting it so I don't add it in the coquito I know some people do but I don't do that 
Um, but if you guys didn't know what that is, it's basically coconut rum eggnog, but like I said, some it's like Puerto Rican eggnog, right? Yeah, it's our version of eggnog, but it's it's just coconut and cinnamon and rum and it's very boozy, so it will get you fucked up. But you can also put like as much or as little as you want. Uh-huh. It's up to you, but once it's so if you want to go hard, yeah, you go ahead. Yeah. If you want to go light, you go light. Yeah. The only thing is that it's a little thicker just because it's mainly like a milk drink, but it's coconut milk. Uh-huh. So it's not like dairy, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would say that one's probably my favorite. What about you? Um, I've never tried eggnog to be hundred percent honest. Mm-hmm. I don't think I don't know. It. I, I I guess I didn't think like no one in my family really drank it and then when I heard what it was, I'm like, well, that doesn't really sound that good. So I'm like, yeah. I'm cool. So I never tried it. But hot chocolate for sure. And I'm just like plain like regular hot chocolate. I like my hot chocolate with milk. Mm-hmm. Um, I just tried a caramel hot chocolate, like the, you know, like in the package ones. Dude, it's so good. They have it, it in the sucks. packet with the caramel already? Yeah. It's like, That's not- it's, a, it's just in the powder. Yeah. It's the, I think it's Swiss Miss. Mm. I think they, because it came from a, um, a four box set i guess of hot cocoa so there was regular uh hot cocoa there was the peppermint there was the caramel and then there was marshmallow Ooh. um i love marshmallows in it yeah. so good it was so good so for sure hot chocolate it's a classic mm-hmm. um i've never tried coquito. Well, all year round we drink it <laughs> yeah i've never tried coquito but it sounds bomb i've seen a video of it being made it looks bomb i'm coming um, i would say cacao i don't know if that's it's not specifically um christmas but mm. yeah one of my tias makes it fucking bomb and i don't really see that thea a lot and one of my cousins his mom is closer to that thea uh-huh so like she, his mom will be like oh like you know my cousin oh he really wants the cacao and so she'll make a like gallon like a milk right. gallon She'll uh-huh. make it and have it sent up to him. Oh, oh my God. I'm like, tell her, tell her I want one. Like I will buy it off. Her. I don't care. Yeah. You're like, I'll it's, pay for the ingredients. <laughs> yeah. But it's not a Christmas drink. So I don't know if that really counts. So I'll just go with hot chocolate. Okay. Have yeah. you ever had um hot apple cider? No, I've had apple cider, but not hot apple cider. I don't know if you'd like it. Cause it's like warm fruit tasting, yeah. but it's kind of good because it's like, some people put cinnamon in it and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's like it warms inside. But maybe it's like a tea. Does it taste like a kind tea? Of. Kind of. Is it sparkly? It literally, no. To me, it just tastes like warm apple juice. I don't know. Like hot yeah. apple juice. Yeah, I don't know, like that I don't know if you'd yeah. like it because I know you're, you don't like um, warm fruits, but I definitely don't think you'd be an eggnog fan. Yeah, it doesn't sound appealing to me. Yeah, just based off of what I know about your taste buds, I'm like, I don't think you'd like it. <laughs> but I do want you to try the coquito when I bring oh, yeah. it. Because I think, oh, yeah. I don't know if you would like it, but I'm curious to see if you'd like it. I but it's sweet, sure so. like it. Yeah, it's just like coconut it's, and sweet. It's like really and similar it. to chata in a sense of the like, yeah. you know, but except with the coconut and then, you know, like they have Rum. like, um, what's it called? Rum chata? Yeah. You know, but like. Mm-hmm. But I think the only difference with the coquito is the coconut part of it and the yeah. I'd say literally that's probably the the only thing that's oh, different I I than the chata. Yeah, I think I have to sneeze. Pickle. Oh my, dude, you have to see Rex. Hold on. <laughs> Do you see him? Is he upside down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he's hella funny. I, I just looked over and I was like, he's smiling. <laughs> He's in the Christmas mood too. All this Christmas talk has him cozy. He's too much, but his eyes are open. He's blinking. He's awake, but he's just laying <laughs> upside down. Like fucking weirdo. I love him. <laughs> he's looking at me. <laughs> um, okay. Sorry. Have you ever gone anywhere for Christmas or like for winter break when we have uh, school off or anything? Absolutely not absolutely not but I'd love to then when I, was I gonna say, what is your dream vacation for me? yeah when I seen this question I was thinking about it and I'm like truthfully I don't know what actually be like a dream because I've never been anywhere else to know me like oh this is the spot that like Christmas is just top notch you know I have the answer. but I've seen like in videos like Switzerland in the wintertime looks amazing yeah. like, just 
like not real you know it looks like narnia or something or literally like, i don't even know but anywhere where i think it it's snowing mm-hmm. so if it's snowing there i think that would enhance the like christmas feel right because i also wouldn't want to live in the snow so if i go for a christmas vacation or like a winter vacation i feel like that would be somewhere in the snow yeah i've seen um switzerland but also finland Oof. Like it looks like a little Christmas village, like yeah. Hallmark, bitch. I was like, oh my god, that yeah. looks like a dream. Literally, literally, it's insane. I wonder. I'm gonna look up the flight. I want to see how long it would take to get there. I'm just curious. Probably like a couple stops, huh? Mm, probably. Let's see. I wonder how many. Where should we do it from? SFO. <laughs> Hell no! Do do Oakland. Oh yeah, cause uh, wait, why? SFO is just a bitch. <laughs> like, we're going to go there. <laughs> Girl, you asked me. I'm going to tell you the best answer I got. <laughs> I was just saying, because is Oakland an international? Yeah, I think so, huh? I think. Let's see here. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oakland, California. It says Oakland, USA. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit bitch what um the first flight shows 17 hours the second one says one day and you don't even want to know the prices i do you do? i do okay for one person is uh, i have 704 dollars which i genuinely doubt is real and it's not round trip Okay, that was going to be my question, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not, not round trip. The next None of these- one, it depends on where you're you're going. So to go to Helsinki is 7.04. To okay. go to Kuopio, it's $1,672. And mind you, it- For a one way? For one way. And also it put the date from January 5th to January 9th. So that would be a four-day trip and one day is your travel. Actually, two days would be travel. Right. Um, and then imagine the wanna, jet lags in that. Yeah. If you want to go to, and I'm so sorry, Finland. Um, if I'm pronouncing these wrong, I am so sorry. Ivalo or Ivalo is $1,822. Oh my God, almost $2,000 for a one way trip. So instead, our Finland fans, can you please send us pictures of the dream map <laughs> it looks like? Because there's no the way. <laughs> yeah, send us a postcard. Right. <laughs> I cannot, but you can dream. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I would love to. Yeah, is. is that would that be your place or no? There or I think for Christmas or New Year's, I think New York would be so magical. Ooh, oh my god, that's a good one. And it does snow in New York too. Yeah. I seen a TikTok where it's like, oh, you know, like I want to go to New York in the Christmas time. And it was like all the stuff that we, you know, imagine and we've seen in pictures and stuff. Uh-huh. And then and then someone put like obviously someone from New York was like putting just like all this um the patches of ice on the road and the like dirt and the ice and right all that stuff. and I'm like but there's still the parts where it's so beautiful it's so magical <laughs> like I just can't even imagine you know yeah. but also I I've never been to New York at all either so like I can't imagine the cold that it'll be pro- 20 layers you'll probably have to have like 20 layers on right and I'm already cold as it is in 75 yeah. degree weather so. <laughs> I would be an icicle. I'd be Jane Frost. So if we're going like somewhere snowy, like what would be your favorite outdoor winter activity? I, even if it's not snowing, I guess though, because it doesn't snow where we are. Mm, honestly, I'm not really into skiing or like snowboarding. It's just not really something that I would ever probably want to do. It just kind of, um, I don't know. The whole ski lift thing, already freaks me out and then having to be like anxious like to make sure I get off properly oh, you jump off. all of that yeah girl I don't I don't think my coordination <laughs> could ever um yeah. drive in that type of environment you know what I mean but but would you try it just a question like would you try it no <laughs> <laughs> no hey. When you get out of your comfort zone, you never know. Uh, no, because it's also very high up, and that's also I'm afraid of heights. So that would. But they have like hard. small ones, like small hills for beginners, you know. Mm-hmm, yeah. No. Um. Maybe sledding. I would go sledding for sure. That would seem fun. We're gonna do that one day. 
Yeah, sledding? Okay, we'll do it. I've done yeah, it. Yeah, sledding, you know, snowboarding. Maybe not skiing, but snowboarding. Break my leg. <laughs> I can I got you. walk and not hurt myself. My you. you really want to put me on a board? If you break your leg, I'll break my leg with you. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Because you're not going to break your leg. That's how confident I am that you are not going to get hurt. Ooh, do you remember when Daisy Marquez and them went to, um, I think they went to Big Bear in California or something like that. I think that's what it's called. And like, obviously, I don't know why it ended up happening this way for her. But I remember her telling the story about her snowboarding and she ended up hitting her head and she had a seizure, bro, on the snow. Daisy Marquez? Daisy Marquez. No, I never heard that. Yeah, a couple years ago, I think two years ago, maybe three. Oh my God. She had did a story time about it after it happened, like the next week, and they had to take her to the hospital and everything. She hit her head so hard that she had a seizure. Oh my God, that's scary. I don't know if she has a past with seizures yeah. or anything, but I just remember like hearing that. Also, when I was a kid, we would go to Oregon a lot, mm-hmm. and my cousin actually did. I think she fractured her ankle or broke her ankle, one of the two, but. See, it's because um, of those stories that you're scared, but it's never happened. Yeah. Yeah. But uh-huh. I went snowboarding uh-huh. and, I didn't, and I didn't bring with me. That's a good story. You are also very coordinated. What do you mean? What do you mean? What, what do, you do you mean? mean? What do I mean? What do you mean? You hurt yourself a lot less than I do. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean that if we're on like a small hill, what if there's nothing around that you're going to bump into? If you fall, it's on the snow. You know, what's crazy though. Maybe we'll, we'll ponder okay, that. Idea. Okay. I could go with that. I could go with that. Cause that's already. <laughs> I've seen on our, for you page on TikTok that there's this little girl, well, it's the dad that is recording her, but this little girl's like, I swear to God, she's three or four. I don't even know. I see this that. girl is a beast. He, I was just like, like I was so scared, terrified. Huh? She was no. just like kind of turning and going down. And she's turning. like a little snow bunny, bro. She knew exactly how to do it. And her dad's telling her like, oh, what was he saying? When, uh, when it got a little steep at one point. Yeah. What was he telling her? There was a certain phrase to toe like. Up or toe toe down. Or, I don't freaking know. Yeah. Something to like slow her down. Yeah. That little girl is going to be an Olympic champion. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like she's freaking a beast. Dude. She was confident in herself. Yeah. And even the mom was like, so proud. I was like, Oh my God. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just, so, I'm so cold. Like, I don't know if I could be on the snow for that long, you know? So what if, okay. So not the snow, but like, what would be your favorite thing then? I love the snow though. Like I like playing in the snow, not necessarily like doing a snow I, sport. I t- oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, um, we used to go to this place called, I want to say it was diamond peak or something like that in Oregon and they had a really tall hill where you could go skiing or like snowboarding down it but they also had where they would I think you would walk up with the tire or like an inner tube thing and then you could slide down the hill like sitting in it Mm -hmm. that shit was so fun (laughs) like because you would just run into things or like spin out or whatever and so we would just keep going up and down and up and down the whole entire time until we got tired see like that, that tells was me fun. like you could definitely do snowboarding it's pretty much the same thing I was on my ass yeah. in a tire yeah but you're it's just your feet oh in a tire yeah like we went down on a tire or like, oh, like those tube, inflatable like, one like the inter- yeah oh okay I didn't have to do nothing I just sat there and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's it when we but did I think one time, time. I feel like that's a inflatable is way better be- I've never done it but I, it just sounds way better in mm-hmm. my head the way I'm picturing it because when I went on a regular one like those bumps that shit hella hurt when you landed yeah no it was fun you it would your butt sometimes like- wipe out at the be- at the bottom though like if you yeah. did like run into someone like you'd fall off or something yeah. but no girl it was fun <laughs> it was fun yeah fun. I like sledding a lot sledding is fun yeah um, I don't know of any other winter sport. Oh, I like ice skating. Ice, ice skating. Oh my god! Can I tell you? Like, I know it's off track, kind of, but a funny story. <laughs> um, I had my ice skating one time, <laughs> and with my friends, right? And mm-hmm. there was one what friend. Friends? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. You'd be oh, okay. Pause. So we, my friends and I, were at were at um ice skating thing, mm-hmm. and one of the, one of the girls specifically was like, oh yeah, like I've been ice skating all the time, you know, like I know how to ice skate, like I can help you guys, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, cool, you know? And because we don't really do I or go ice skating, I guess, all the time. So we're kind of not nervous, but excited, obviously. They're just right. kind of, oh shit, like we're about to 
eat shit, you know? Yeah. And so she's like, nah, I'll, show, like I'll show you how to do it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So we're like, okay, okay, cool. And so we're ice skating and stuff and everything's going great. We're like, you know, almost falling, but not. And at some point we got split because it was four of us. So uh-huh. just kind of naturally, it just happened how we were moving. So one, two of them, you know, went somewhere else ice skating together like holding each other and then it was me and and my friend who were together (laughs) I don't know what happened but we were like going around the ring and all of a sudden she went to like go in front of me (laughs) I Uh think to like kind of like maybe raise to like play around or something and something happened and the the front of her skate just stuck like it just stopped her and she flew forward oh like I I literally watched her hair fly back (laughs) land and I was just like <laughs> and the, the guy who was um where she landed there was a guy next to her uh-huh. and he was just like and all I heard was damn <laughs> oh no <laughs> he landed so hard and he's seen it oh and no. I, even so try I'm, to help I'm, her so, <laughs> like, yeah damn. I'm laughing right I'm laughing I'm like dude are you okay like and as I'm helping her up <laughs> a worker had seen her fall I guess <laughs> Oh my and so God. the worker came out and was like, hey, like, I can help you tie your boots if that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was just so embarrassed. Yeah. That she was like, yeah, yeah, let's, you know, maybe I'll take your help. So we let's had to do walk, that. <laughs> I had to walk out with her out of the ring so the worker could retie her boot, which she already knew how to do because she's done this before. Right. So she just let the person do it. And then we went back on the thing and I... I'm a little mean, but like I was fucking getting on her. I thought it was so funny. You're no good. <laughs> I was like the one who's supposed to be telling us how to do this and, you <laughs> and have this like person come and help you when you know for a damn fact you can do this yourself. Right. But it was oh so funny. I mean, I'd probably play it off like that too. Like, yeah, I didn't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she did it. So I went along with it. Yeah, so I didn't say anything. But it, that's what made it that much funnier is because you right. know. <laughs> yeah and you could get on her about it <laughs> what's your favorite winter sport or outdoor um, winter activity I do like snowboarding I've only done it a couple of times but like I think it's fun even though I'm scared when I do it <laughs> but I think um truthfully building a snowman is not as much fun as I thought it was gonna be that's just really fucking hard so I wouldn't say that like a big one yeah yeah, to make like a really nice one. Like I could, we could do small ones, but mm-hmm. sometimes the snow just ain't right. And then you got to find like a good plate. I, I don't know. It's too much. Right. Um, so I would like snowball fights. Like, I think those are fun. Yeah. You have a decent snowball amount of people fight. and you can do a snowball fight. Mm-hmm. I think that's cool. I would say maybe that one. Cause it's just playful, you know? And you can, you can't go mad. for a while. Yeah. You can't get mad. It's literally just water. As long as there's not a fucking rock in there, <laughs> then I'm like good. Yeah, but like, sometimes, like, if ice. you keep stacking it, that shit will hurt. That don't shit will hurt. Feet. Unless the soft snow don't aim for my face, please. Right. At all. <laughs> don't yeah. face. Dirty ass snow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even I'm realize it's up. dirty until it melts, you know? Yeah. When you guys um, had gone to Tahoe last year and you brought us home some snow in the cooler once it freaking melted bro i was like damn i didn't even realize all this snow was dirty as hell there was like twigs in it too i had no idea <laughs> neither did we yeah i was like it i had no idea that i was so surprised it, it made it to you guys i know that, that was that so cute. it was like an experiment we're like hopefully it stays and it, <laughs> stayed. it was so cute we were so happy <laughs> and we were I supposed think to put go it in the, straight the freezer huh i think he had put it in the freezer for a little bit too oh yeah yeah we, I remember we were supposed to go straight um back to mm-hmm. yeah but like we were like no we have we have the snow there's no way it's gonna last yeah. any longer than this we're like let's just stop a whole week more <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we're like no we have to go bring the snow yeah I love it it was definitely a memory for sure <laughs> all right we have one last holiday question but this has been so much fun I know it really has been I hope you guys enjoy it, to be honest, because I've had the best time. I just really love Christmas and like holidays in general. I'm sorry this is like more Christmas based, but like we're inclusive to all holidays. This is just what we celebrate personally. So we can't really talk about 
other holidays because we don't know much about it. Well, you can teach us. But we're we'll oh, yeah, but we're open learning. We love to learn about it. Yeah, let us know. So what makes a gift special to you? I think you kind of said it a little bit earlier, but. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think just, just, um, I think when it shows that they know you or that they've listened to you, mm-hmm. um, not necessarily like, oh, I made, you know, I made a list of these are the things that I want, but kind of like if we've just been talking and I mentioned something like, or we walked past something going somewhere and I'm yeah. like, oh, sure, like, oh yeah, you know, she, she would like this or. Right this reminded me of you because you're like you like these or you're like this so I wanted to get it yeah. I think more something like that because it has more of a personal that. touch yeah yeah I also I like true. if someone asks me like what do you need because then like uh-huh. you said it's that's a good one. and I feel like they also yeah. care about you to know like dude I need some Let me thoughts. something that will help yeah, you out exactly yeah exactly it's like one. taking something off your plate Uh, yeah kind of like our love language being acts of service in in a way it's gift giving and acts of service because like something I would have had to get myself you know right but I also like um let me see I had an idea what was I gonna say I agree with you what you said like if someone says oh this reminded me of you or like I thought you would like this so I got it for you but also something that you know that person wouldn't get themselves oh that's a good one you know they like it, but you know that they wouldn't buy it for themselves. Yeah, like they talk themselves like out of buying it for whatever something reason. Kind of expensive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you're like, no, like you deserve it. You should get it yourself. Yeah. But they just won't. I like those gifts too because it's like you. Really That's really it, sweet. You know, you guys have done that for me. You guys got me a Michael Kors purse. I'm like, oh, but I was like, what the? Fuck? Yeah, you were so like, good. <laughs> yeah, I still have it. I still use it all the time. I'm like that you deserve it bro when I switch from my fanny pack I use that but that mm-hmm. purse uh I think because it just goes with everything it's yeah it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful like it's your style but but upscale just like yeah updated, like yeah. just name brand because <laughs> so, it goes with everything it's huh? right we got your black one yeah, it's a black one and it has um, a gold a gold like, chain. Well, kind of. but it's like also the material, but then there's little parts of the strap where it's gold chain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember it. I was just dry. trying to refresh. Trying to, what is it, Joy? <laughs> um, what well, would you say is like your top notch special? My what? Like what's the most most special? Would it would it be something you need, something that made them think of you, or something that you know they wouldn't get themselves? Um, hmm. I think the last one, like something that someone wouldn't get themselves, because I feel like that's directly saying like you do have value. I see it in you. Yeah, I got it for you because I knew you wanted it, and in a way, it's like oh, because I knew you would like it because you wanted yeah. it for yourself. You just are too stubborn to get it for yourself (laughs) it's really sweet yeah I like that I like that a lot what about you something that someone it reminds you of them um when you're gift giving what do you look for when I'm gift giving Mm -hmm. I think it's I think I feel really accomplished if it's something that I do know that they've talked about and they've liked, but they have like, especially if they've been talking about it for a long time, but they've just never gotten it. Yeah. Like, I think I feel the most accomplished then because I'm like, I know that you're going to love this and that you've been wanting yeah. it or something right. you're going to get it. But like, when I, when I know that they haven't physically said like, this is what I want, but they just kind of mentioned mm-hmm. it briefly or like talked about it one time. In passing, yeah. like, oh, that's cute. Yeah. Like I would like yeah. that. Yeah. I think I feel the most comfortable with those. It shows that you pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I agree. Ah, I love it. But I know both of us are more like, we'd rather give gifts than get gifts. Yeah, I get so I get so excited to see people open their gifts. That's like the most fun to me is seeing their yeah. to open it. I'm just like, me too. Oh, I hope they like it. You know. Yeah, I feel awkward when I open gifts because I feel like, oh, what I, if I don't give them the reaction that they want? I'm really or... bad at reactions too. I mean, I I feel like I'm just so bad at reactions. Like I don't, you know, when you have everyone watching you, you don't know how to act. So like you don't know. Yeah. 
it's just it's weird it's awkward but I think that just comes from like social anxiety and like social awkwardness (laughs) like being like I don't know what to do I don't don't want my reaction to for you to feel like I don't actually like it but yeah I don't want to overdo it to where it seems forced either right right I agree was that all of our questions that was all of our questions. I'm kind of sad. I feel like that went by so fast, but maybe it didn't. Like maybe we've been here for a cool little minute, but like that was, it felt like a speed round. Yeah. I think it's been like an hour. And just two <laughs> it's <minutes>. crazy. <laughs> yeah. We always have we have like, little stories and stuff. Yeah. Like in between the podcast, we always say like, God damn, we talk for fucking like we could talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of those moments where it's like, oh my God, it went by so fast. But we've been sitting right. here for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good that it goes by fast yeah. because we're enjoying the conversation and it's yeah. natural, you know. Should we get the quote of the week started? Let's get it. Okay. We are leaving you guys with this wisdom here. I don't know who it's by, but being challenged is inevitable. Being defeated is optional. Mic drop. Boom. <laughs> you said my job and I said a boom like yes. <laughs> see we're always connected bro right always connected <laughs> um love. love that wisdom for the week oh my god we should call it that wisdom for the week that came so naturally wow we've been sitting on that for <laughs> we're like, like the 14th the episode <laughs> that is the wisdom of the, the week Christmas. I love it it's the Christmas miracle. Getting ready for next yes. year. Let us know. We're going to start planning out what January looks like in terms of episodes. So let us know what y'all want to hear. Yeah, we hope that you guys have great holidays, whatever holidays are coming mm-hmm. up before our next episode. Because our next episode, like you said, is going to be the New Year's. We're going to be prepping yeah. for the new year and what's to come. So yeah, hopefully you guys have fun holidays. Spread love, receive love. Be safe. We're sending love. Yes. Be safe. Be careful. A lot of people around this time get desperate, get crazy, and just be very, very aware of your surroundings. Be careful. Drive safe. Be careful of drunk drivers. Yes. Before. Do not drink and drive. I don't Please, care. Please, for the love of is humanity. Literally. We don't want to see any any tragedies happen this year we've had enough this year so yes. go into next year having a good old grand old time but safely that's the best way and with that don't be grinches have a good if time you're gonna be a grinch be the good one be like the best yeah. version be a- yeah be the grinch at the end <laughs> yeah <laughs> I love you guys and with that jingle jangle jingle, jangle. happy holidays <laughs> Peace.